Hey CG buddies, today I wanted to show you something that I'm using quite often. It's called the Very Distance Textures. It's something basically that's gonna make you blend two materials together depending on an object position. It's something very useful. We're gonna show that in this example here. So basically what it does, it allows you to blend props that you dispose on the ground with the ground itself. So it's very useful when you want to avoid this arch penetration that you can have sometime when you just place props on the ground. But it's also very useful when you want to create an island and you have the water and the water level is gonna drive the position of the sand on your island. So if you place the water up and down, the sand is gonna move as well and follow your water. It's very, very useful, especially when you don't have time to do UVs, proper UVs, or if you work on very, very big pieces of environment. Because on island, you don't want to have like hundreds of UDMs. You can just use this and then it's done. You don't need to do like a huge, big top view textures, paint the surrounding. This one will do the trick for you. So for this example, the scene is already pre-built. I use Quixel Mega Scan Assets. The ground is from RDT Textures that I really recommend you to check out. I'm just gonna isolate both my ground on the top, localize the render here, and do a quick renders. As you can see, it's, it's not natural. It doesn't look real. It looks like fake. It's just an object blending together because they are just Polygons are penetrating into each other. I'm gonna open my material editor. Pick the tarp here. And I'm gonna create a very blend material. You of course keep the sub material. And here, I'm gonna pick my ground. I'm just gonna drag and drop it, this one here. In instance, I recommend, in case you want to change the ground, it's gonna also affect all of your dust area. And here, this is when the magic is going to happen. I'm going to use the very distance textures. So the menu is very simple. You have the distance area. The thing you want to pay attention to is the two value here. You want to invert those two. Why is that? It's because it's basically a mask of black and white. And what you want to do is to affect the nearest edges close to the object, not the farthest, because then it's going to do drops of sand instead of having really natural blending effect here. I usually start with a value of 3, 3 to 5. The thing you want to do next is to add the object here. So you pick your ground and then let's make it a try. Oh, I can tell right now it's too big. So as you can see here, now I'm blending my tarp to the ground and it looks way better already. The only thing is my texture is too big. So let's cancel it. But you see what I was saying here? It looks more natural. So let's put a value of maybe one. So if I compare to the previous render, we had this arch line here and now it's blending together. And this looks like this tarp has been dropped there for like months and even years. So it's looking quite cool, but the thing you can also do is into the near texture here, you can drop a mask. And this is when the possibilities here are like kind of infinite. This is the magic of procedural techniques. Well, I just put a random, like a noise in your mask. You will see it's even, even, even more natural now because it's not everywhere. Plus, it's having like some scratches from the mask. We just put it into the near textures. What I like to do usually is drop my mask and just very really increase the values by using the curl. When you're happy with the result, there is something I wanted to, to share with you. What you can do now is 
you have your textures ready here, the ground. This one, give it a name. Text. And this one you can just copy and drag and drop it to all of the objects that you want. So this one, maybe you want to blend it to the ground. So you pick the shader, create the berry blend again. But then there is another technique that is better. Basically, what you want to do is create a multi sub object. You drop all of the objects that you want to blend. So let's put the tarp. I think I'm gonna pick the wood here. Let's pick the wood. Don't forget when you do that to add the material. I'm putting my ID2. Uh, this brick, for example, we can add it. So it's gonna be this one, mat ID3, etc. etc. Because if you do object by object, it's gonna be very annoying for you to tweak. When this one basically, I'm gonna show you the example. I have three materials, and this one I use the distance textures. So it's gonna basically affect all of the objects I selected instead of picking one, changing the value, picking two, etc, etc. To resume, you have, if you want to be fairly simple, your object into a multi sub object. So you have your chain, tar, wood, debris, etc. You have your ground textures in a very blend, and then a distance textures. Controlled by this value, remember you want the mask white to be the nearest color, and you can start to play with these values here. So I barely use them, but mostly this one. What I want to do is to play with a mask that is a dirt mask, noise, whatever. And then don't forget to pick your object. And that's pretty much it. So if we compare the both renders, you can see that this is a previous one. Everything is pretty harsh and not really blending together. And now you have like a more natural effect on some of the objects. It's a bit too strong here. I put a bit too much of the mask. So for correcting, you just have to go here and change the value and decrease it or even play with the mask. If you give it a bit more love, you can end up with very, very nice results. And remember that this is something you can use to blend mountain to the ground. You can use to blend water in island. You can also make water dry pebble effect when around the water area it's a bit darker and more reflective there's a lots of application that you can do with this that's it for today i hope you found this pretty helpful and that is gonna help you build more natural looking still pictures see you next time with another tips and tricks see you guys